Hello, beautiful people of the land and the world. This is Sade coming to you live. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about if you at any point had an interest in going to Africa, whether you're an African American or of any other race, and you've always had it in your mind that you've always wanted to go to Africa, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Okay, so one of the first things that I um, looked at was of course price tickets how much it costs like do your due diligence figure out how much it costs let me tell you a little tidbit if you want to go to East Africa East Africa is actually cheaper from the United States than West Africa that's what I found I'm not sure why it's like that but that's what I've come to find so okay price ticket for example I went, I, my first trip to Africa was Kenya and Kenya from where I am was uh, minimum price was like $700, maybe six something $700 was average. Me wanting to go to Ghana or Nigeria, it was like $1,500 plus. The cheapest I found was maybe $1,100 plus. So, it's just weird I'm not sure why it's like that but it's not as expensive as you think so just like try to you know try different countries and see how much the plane ticket costs the next thing you need as a United States citizen you need a yellow fever shot for most of the countries in Africa and that lasts up to 10 years. You can't get into certain countries without that yellow card stating that you got the yellow fever shot. I think in Tanzania, Tanzania, however you pronounce it, beautiful country, I think that you don't need the yellow fever shot, but there are, for the most part, the countries that you want to visit, like Ghana, Nigeria, or South Africa, things like that, you need the yellow fever shot. And it lasts up to 10 years. Um, you also need a negative COVID test, not the rapid one, but the PCR test. You need a negative COVID test. Um, you need your passport, that is extremely important. You ain't going nowhere without a passport. Definitely U.S. Uh, territories. Okay. <laughs> Let me get back to the COVID test. The COVID test, there are different countries where you need to have a certain time limit before you can enter the country. Um, like, it's like some countries are like 72 hours. Some countries are 48 hours before you've had your negative COVID test so like do it very very close before you leave and make sure that it's negative and make sure that you have it on your phone or a piece of paper or something that states your name stating that you are negative um, of COVID. Next I mentioned the passport after that uh, certain countries require visas of course um, I mean, many countries require visas, but there are some countries that are, um, I think they have reciprocity, I think that's the term. But for the countries, many countries in Africa that do require them, some countries require visa, visa on arrival. For example, Kenya required visa on arrival. I traveled to Jamaica also, that was visa on arrival. And the price varies for different countries. I, when I went to Nigeria, I had to apply for the visa when I was um, when I went, and it was pretty pricey. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it was like 160 dollars or something like that. And then the visa on arrival, I think it's like 250 plus dollars. So um, Nigeria, particularly, you want to do your research and make sure that you apply for your visa well in advance to go there. It's, it's a lot but anyway um for kenya particularly i i just paid like 50 60 dollars something like that to go and it was nothing i paid at the airport it was all good and they give you a certain amount of time that you can be in the country um what else do you need i encourage you to get your malaria medications or shots i'm a prime example of 
who's an American that got malaria while they were in Africa. I got malaria. Malaria is one of the scariest things that I've ever had to deal with as far as sicknesses. And um, yeah, take malaria, anti-malarial medication or take the malaria vaccine or shot or whatever it's called. Make sure you take it, make sure you take it seriously because you can catch malaria. And you getting malaria for the first time is extremely scary. Scary as hell. Uh, what else? I encourage you to get some, what is it? The bug spray. Bug spray. Spray it over yourself. Mosquitoes, keep them bitches away. Keep them away. Um, and then also um, find out what type of plugs that they use. You need an adapter to be able to plug into the wall so that you can charge your phone, charge your computers, or what have you. Find out what country has what type of adapters and purchase one so that you can um, function there. Uh, what else do you need? I encourage you for particularly Nigeria, if you want to go, take cash. Take a lot of cash. Just take out your whole bank account if you have. Like, just don't bring cash, seriously, because you will get stuck if you don't. Nigeria is considered one of the high-risk countries. It's a scamming country, so your card, I don't care if you call them up and tell them I'm, going, I'm coming to Nigeria, because that's what happened to me. I don't care if you call them up and you say, I'm going to Nigeria, you know, and uh, you want to put a travel notice on your card, they will still lock your card up and, and you have to call every damn day and the internet is not so strong depending on where you are and you get really stuck like I did. So just bring cash and just, you know, cash is king over there and just, yeah, just bring cash. Next, I would say just, you know, dress accordingly. It's hot. <laughs> dress accordingly. When you're on the plane, it's going to be cold. When you're in the airport, it's going to be cold, depending on what airport you're at. It's going to be cold. Bring a sweater, bring something. Um, you know, the, like while you're on this very, very long journey to Africa, delete things out your phone. You want to be able to record you know, awesome experiences and, you know, kill some time on the plane or whatever and get a good book. Read a book or play some games or something. But, yeah. Um, let me see what else. What else? What else? Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. The food is going to be different. The people are going to be different. Some people will treat you like queens, kings, depending on what country you go to. Um, some people may be rude. I barely experienced that, but who knows where, I don't know where you're going, but sometimes shit happens, you know? But just keep an open mind to the traditions, respect your traditions, don't be rude. Um, just be open-minded. But let me see if there's anything else, if there's anything else. Mm. I think that's it. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the culture. Enjoy the people. Have a great time. It's the motherland. It's rich. It's a lot of rich. A lot of richness. I don't care if they're whoever's poor. There's a lot of richness. Okay? Um, there is good. There is bad anywhere you go. There's poverty. There is luxury all in i don't know about every country but there's luxury and poverty to the experience so don't don't close mind don't pay attention to what the usa tells you about africa go for yourself 